Next for event keys, we're going to continue to add some additional information. We're going to make it so that we don't just simply print to the console, but we actually pass in more relative information like audio files and things of that nature. So let's start by going back to our event script. And in our event script, we're going to create a new function. Our new function is going to be an audio function, and we're actually going to pass in an audio file. We're going to sign our audio clip the audio file that we pass in and then we're gonna play that audio file so we'll save this one out we'll go back to our cube and on our cube we can go to our event line here we can add in a new event key we go back to our functions, and inside of our functions now we have our print event that we started with, and we also have our play audio. So we're going to do our play audio, and here we can actually auto add our audio file to. So we can either go to our assets folder and pick it from our dialog, or simply just drag it from our project onto the line. There we go. And now, every time our keyframe passes over this frame, it's going to play that audio file. So let's go ahead and hit play. And you'll notice that we don't have any audio file playing right now. We have our audio right in here. So the next thing you need to do is always backtrack what do we need. So whenever we don't have audio on the file, double check that inside of your inspector you have an audio component. We don't have an audio component so it's not going to actually play the audio file for us. Go back to our components. We'll just simply add an audio source. We don't need to assign any kind of source. We're going to be calling that up from the script. So let's try it this time. There we go. So with relative ease, we can add an audio event based on a keyframe. And we'll continue to look at a couple more examples of things that we can add and how we can work with them.